We bring in Mark Lowry, uh, who has spent a lot of time protecting U.S. presidents in war zones, former Secret Service agent, protecting presidents both at home and abroad. Mark, appreciate you being with us. Uh, is this a different situation, bringing a president within 200 miles of a war that is not really controlled by the United States? It is. It's a, it's a greater challenge. Taking the president anywhere out of the house uh, is an increased challenge with the increased risk that we're seeing today. The uh, significance of going overseas, I may add, is the Secret Service has no authority over there like they do in the United States, so we're depending upon uh, the local assets, in this case the Warsaw, the Polish assets to support the Secret Service. Uh, we're dependent upon great intelligence from numerous resources that we can get intelligence information. But it is, it is a challenge uh, taking a president out of the country into a foreign country, especially into a time in an area such as this. What are the conversations that have happened behind the scenes with the Russians ahead of the president's visit? Are there different red lines that are laid down? You know, I, I can't speak on what the red lines the Secret Service certainly would uh, set down. I'm sure the government is having conversations as much as they can under the existing conditions over in Ukraine with Russia. I know the Secret Service would be dealing with the Department of State very closely. Yeah. The Department of State have foreign uh, relationships over in Warsaw that we can rely upon their their assets in place. Uh, we have military assets that would be in place over there. So we're, we're talking to those uh, on the ground assets, both intelligence gathering assets and the military yeah. assets that could be in place to support us. I'm thinking about, for example, when President Trump visited North Korea, walked across the DMZ. There's the picture, of course, of members of his detail farther into North Korea than he was in the like. Uh, what is the difference between it being a sort of agreed upon visit in this case, where even though you have people who uh, were clearly uh, enemies in, in a way, but that it's peacetime, for lack of a better term, and taking the president 200 miles from a war zone where you don't have control? Well, clearly they don't have control and it's gonna be a very, uh, a, a time of great uh, stress on, on the service and on the, uh, the government taking the president over there. Obviously the, uh, the causes and the reasons are, are a worthwhile adventure. Um, you know, it's, gonna, it's an on the record movement. They know he's coming. Uh, for example, when uh, George W. Bush, 43, I went to Afghanistan. It was a covert operation. No one knew he was leaving. He was at the ranch at the time. Nobody knew he was leaving. It was very kept very close to the chest. Many Secret Service uh, employees didn't even know he was leaving. That's an off the record movement. That's much easier to handle. A last minute trip over there. Resources were put in place uh, to, to make sure that the people know he's going. I mean, mm. the world knows that the president's going there. So that yeah, makes the challenge part even of the, greater. Yeah, that's part of the. Part of the point, really, is to make sure the world knows the president's going. Mark, appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.